Ms. Admiral. So as you alluded to, we've been here before, and after 2020, the administration imposed sweeping sanctions and also took efforts to prevent this sort of behavior. So why are we here again? And what about today's actions will deter future uh, disinformation? We're here again because actors like Iran and Russia uh, are at it again uh, and continue to believe that uh, it somehow suits their interest to interfere in our electoral process. So we're, we're here because, because of what they've been doing and that we're trying to hold them accountable and to make it harder for them to do this. And that's exactly what the actions today, and I'm sure actions to come as appropriate will do, will make it harder for them. Will it make it completely impossible? Probably not, because they'll find workarounds. I mean, these are actors, in this case, driven by the Kremlin itself, that are bound and determined. Uh, to try to change and influence the way Americans vote when they go in that ballot box. And that's why I said it at the end of my opening statement, everybody, not just the federal government, but everybody needs to be concerned about this. And everybody needs to bear a hand in, in pushing back on the influence attempts by Russia.